Saint 14 is back in the tower. Let's find out more about how to unlock this coming up next. Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we'll briefly go over Saint 14's return to the tower and how you unlock that through a number of quest steps. Again, if you like the video, feel free to like it. Subscribe to the channel also and get in the community. Let's talk about what kind of videos you'd like to see next. So we knew this day was coming. Obviously, the entire Season of Dawn is, is centered around Saint 14. Also, for anyone who had been in the tower in the last few days, his shotgun had actually been seen floating somewhere in the tower. And then for the, the winter event, we also saw that there was a reference to having to turn in a cookie to Saint 14. Well, and that he was going to be in the tower. Well, Saint 14 isn't in the tower yet, or wasn't up until today. So obviously we knew this was coming. To start off, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the tower. And if you go to the old hangar area, you'll see him basically there as a vendor. It's, it's pretty easy to find. The other thing you'll notice is that there's some Osiris themed banners, things like that. Kind of makes you think something else is coming back. Maybe trials. But who knows? Actually, would love to hear commentary in the community. What do you think the end result is going to be of him being in the season? Is it going to be trials? Is there some other reward? Uh, again, just love to see you guys get into the community, uh, get into the comments, and maybe talk about that. Give me kind of your thoughts. So to begin with, Saint 14 is going to offer three bounties that you can start with. The first one is tribute to the colonies. So this one requires a little bit of work, but it's not too bad. For the first step, you go to Titan, you kill 100 enemies. You can do that in any way you see fit. Because of another quest step in the future, which I'll talk about, um, I did, chose to do Savathun's Song outside the Strike playlist because, again, that would allow me to do some other things I'll talk about in a second, but it also allow me to kill uh, enemies on Titan. Once you're done with this step, you'll go to Failsafe, and you'll speak to Failsafe, and she'll give you another bounty. In that bounty, it says to complete two public events, one patrol and kill 100 enemies. Now, the two public events, if you do a heroic event, so again, to all your blueberries, please make sure you allow the events to be heroic today. If you allow it to be heroic, that'll actually count as two. So basically, all you have to do is do one heroic public event, one patrol. You could be doing the patrol while you're doing the public event and kill 100 enemies. Not too bad. Then you'll need to go to Devrim. Speak to Devrim. The same thing will basically happen. Two public events, one patrol, kill 100 enemies. Once you're complete with this quest step, you'll return to Saint 14, and he'll give you a small statue that you can play. You can place. That's basically a memorial for the uh, for the colonists. The next quest or bounty is a Guardian's Duty, and for this one, you need eight bounties and Crucible, Vanguard, and Gambit. If you haven't have them saved up, that would be good. Actually, what's funny is right before this drop, they turned in a bunch of them, so it's kind of wasted step for me. But with that said. What I ended up doing is I did I did Vanguard bounties, and what I did is I did Sabathine Song, like I talked about earlier, with a bunch of bounties. So that allowed me to get the 100 kills on Titan, but that also allowed me to get some of the bounties locked up for this. Again, it doesn't take that long. Again, you're just going to have to make sure, like, do I have a bow on, or do I have a, a shotgun, or am I using void kills? Those are things you're going to have to pay attention to. Once you're complete with that quest step, you'll return to Saint 14 and you'll place a bounty book and he'll offer a series of bounties that you can do every week. Next is a quest step called Cornerstone and this is the most important one. For this one, you need to get 10 kills each from what are called Crucial Fallen, Cabal, and Vex opponents. What Crucial means is basically Yellow Bard. And what I did is I basically went to, when I was on EDZ, so I had all these quest steps basically all at the same time. When I was on the EDZ, Talking to Devrim, it had the event where the Cabal and Fallen fight each other. I was able to get a lot of them there. And then I was able to finish them up with the strikes I was doing for the other quest. Again, that's why it's always important to try to do some of these things at the same time, because you can be super efficient. Once you get that, you return to Saint 14. He'll give you a piece that you can actually plant as the obelisk. You'll go into the courtyard in the tower and place the obelisk. Obviously, the obelisk is uh, uh, going to be a part of the story going forward. It looks like you can link the four obelisks with the other obelisks in the other areas. And to do that, you'll need to do a weapon bounty from each of those. So that's interesting. Don't know what this is going to build up to. The other thing is this actually allows you to do weapons bounties for Perfect Paradox, Trophy Hunter, and Pyro Classic Flow. Perfect Paradox might be an interesting thing to see what kind of roles you can get in. So that'll be kind of interesting to check out. And that's the video. Again, just a quick video to talk about how you unlock the obelisk from the tower. 
would love to hear your guys' comments on what you think it is. I mean, obviously, we know it's going to have a tie into the remainder of the season. What we don't know is what the next weeks will entail. And as that unfolds, I'll release additional content as we see those things. Again, feel free to leave comments. We'll kind of talk about those things. And subscribe to the channel if you found this video useful. And again, I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower. Thank you.